Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout and it is using the Planetarium Make Kit from Studio Calico. I'm just showing you some of the stuff that I might be using. A lot of the stuff is from the Make Kit. And I'm just showing you all the die cuts and the twine that we got in this month's, this month's kit. Doesn't mean that I'm going to be using it. And then I just took out um, my wood veneer, heart wood veneer, and that gray chevron washi tape that we got last month. And that was a basic gray that we got a few months ago when I cut it apart. It was all different um, die cuts and I still haven't used all of it. So these are some of the scraps that I took out. I'm not really sure where it, in which direction this layout is going to end up going. So I just have a whole bunch of different um, scraps out. And I'm going to put the whole thing on this gray cardstock. And this photo photo here and actually I'm going to change the photo. I have two photos that I didn't know which one I was going to use. I'm going to use the other one and it's my, of my daughter and my grandson and they're sitting by the lake. So that Asterix paper is Ellie Studio. That Chevron paper is Studio Calico Atlantic City. And that gray one is Simple Stories Urban Traveler. And then the only other one that I used is the one that says uh, love you to the stars and back and that's a Dear Lizzie paper. So I'm just going to cut. I could have flipped the paper the other way but I knew that part of it would be hidden probably. So I just want to keep some of that asterisk paper so I could use it for another time because I really love that paper and I want uh, some chevron from this paper so I'm going to cut off a fairly big strip of that chevron and I'm just following the chevron and there was two white and then gray so I just on either side I followed the the white and now I'm going to mat the whole thing on that gray pattern paper. And you see where the um, asterisk paper is too short. That's okay because the um, I'm going to cut a banner out of that Dear Lizzie paper and I'm going to put it as a banner on top of that photo so you can't even tell that that blue paper was short. And now I'm cutting another little banner for the top of the page. And I'm going to cut that doily in three pieces so that I can use it in three spots. And then I took one of my Project Life card. And I don't even know which collection it's from because it was just in my stash. I had taken out, taken it out a few months ago. And it was just with my stuff so I don't know where I got it but it was gray and white so it matched the layout perfectly. And then I cut that washi tape in half and put some at the top and some at the bottom of the photo. And I'm just trying to figure out where else I could put that um, doily. And I'm going to cut off a small piece of that gray washi tape and I'm going to put it at the top of the layout. And I know I want to use quite a bit of different fonts for this layout. So I took out the basic gray letters that we got in last month's kit and totally forgot to use them. And this month I think I've already used them two or three times. So hopefully this month I'll make good use of this, this letter, these letters. So at first I thought I would use the word love with that basic gray font but then I remembered that the Heidi swap one I had used up all my R's so there's no way I could write stars with that one so then I decided to use the Heidi swap for the love and the stars with the basic gray and my title is going to be love you to the stars and back just like the the paper and then in one of the dear Lizzie I think it was lucky charm they had that constellation die cut so I took it out and I'm going to put it on this page because I thought it was perfect even though it's not nighttime it's more like the sentiment 
So I thought it was perfect for that. And then I went through my mind, my mind's eye small alphabet and I found a teal letter stickers that I want to use. And at first I think I'm going to use the U from basic gray, but then I decide on using some thickers. And then with the smaller letters, I'm just going to write to the, and then the word and. And then for back, I'm going to go back through my thickers and I'm going to find the sketch letters from American Craft thickers. And I'm going to use those letters. So I'm going to cut that die cut, a little piece of that die cut, and I'm going to put it at the top of the page. And then I'm going to cut a bigger piece off and put it to the right side of the page. And then I just kept a little bit and I'm going to put it to the left of the page so that it's in three spots. And now I know I want to put some stars just because of the title. Again, not because it's nighttime, but more because of what the title says. And I'm going to ink those stars with the Coastal Cabana from Stampin' Up. And I just put the stars, uh, they're fabric stars from Studio Calico. And I just put them on the wax paper and I'm going to color them in or use a sponge and, and ink them up. And now I know pretty much where this layout is going. So I'm just going to start gluing everything down with my quick dry adhesive. And while I'm doing that, this is the fifth layout using the planetarium kit. And this layout took me an hour and 45 minutes to complete. And it's the 98th scrapbooking process video and I'd say well I think I announced it a few days ago but I hit the 1000 subscriber quite a few days ago I'm almost actually nearing the 1100 now so I'm still waiting for the prize to come in so we can do that little contest but as soon as it comes in I'll be doing the video and uploading that so hopefully it won't be too, too long. But here we usually end up waiting quite a long time for our orders. So then I decide to put some of that um, ribbon that I got from Stampin' Up. And it matches that ink perfectly, Coastal Cabana. And okay, so the recording stopped again. So if I repeat myself, I'm truly sorry, but I don't remember what I've said, you know, in the first eight minutes of this recording. And um, I don't have time to redo the whole thing because I just got home from a night shift and I need to go to bed because I got to work tonight. But I really want to get this done so I can get it uploaded this afternoon. So I'm going to glue down my title. And... Again, I don't know if I said this, but this is the fifth layout using the planetarium kit. And it took me an hour and 45 minutes. And it's the 98th layout or 98th scrapbooking process video. So in the next couple of weeks or so, I'm just waiting for the prize to come in because I ordered a whole bunch of stuff to do up a prize. And we'll have a little contest here on my YouTube channel and on my Facebook group. And... Um, and I have a, a prize to go with it. And it'll just be a random winner. Like um, I'll just pick a name out of, a, out of a hat, everybody that participates. So now I know I want to use those stars. So I'm going to start putting them at the top. And then I decide, well, I think I'd like some sequins because then it would look like stars that are a little further away and I go as far as gluing them all down and now that I look at them on video I don't mind them so much but when I was looking at them when I was making the layout I really didn't like it so I ended up ripping all those apart and 
because I remembered that I had those Coco Daisy stamps. So I'm looking for different stuff because it's just not sitting right with me. And then I know I want to make some little loop-de-loos with my white gel pen. So then they look like falling stars. And then at this point, I know there's... The problem is, is that the layout is not balanced. Like it's really top heavy and there's really nothing on the bottom. And the stars are kind of bugging me too. So I'm just trying to figure out like, okay, how can I make this all balance and not feel like it's really top heavy? So I'm looking at that little Polaroid wood veneer and I don't like it. And then I thought, well, if I outline outside the whole perimeter of the layout, it kind of ties everything together and it kind of does. It helps. It helps bring it all together so it doesn't look like it's two separate parts of the layout. So that helped. And then those sequins are still bugging me. So I pull them all off and then I put those close to my heart. They're called gems, I believe. And it's in a, in a navy. So that kind of makes it stand out a little bit more so I like that and then I remembered that I have those Coco Daisy star stamps so I'm going to take them out and then I look for the navy ink from Hero Arts and everywhere I have one of those gem I'm going to stamp a star and put the gem in the middle instead so I really like that a whole lot better it just instead of just one tone of stars there's more than one tone of stars, if that makes any sense, so that it looks like some of them are further away and some of them are closer. And so I like that a whole lot more. And I really love that stamp set. What I like about Coco Daisy is that you don't have to, um, they have two different types of membership. They have the same Studio Calico where you get um, the papers and the embellishments and everything. And then they have another membership where you can only get the stamp sets and that's what I do I only get the stamp sets because I really like those their stamps and the shipping is really cheap for their stamps so for now that's what I'm going to do I'm going to do studio calico I'm going to give it you know another, another six months and then I'll decide whether I want to try something else or keep going with them so I I took um a studio calico journaling card and I'm going to put it at the right of the photo and then I'm going to put a little doily and one of those navy tags or tabs tags that we got in the kit and the reason being is I know I want to make it an embellishment cluster in that corner and I need something to ground it so with the journaling tag and the doily and the navy blue tab or tag it's building up my embellishment cluster so then I can build up on top of it and one of the main things I'm going to put in that embellishment cluster is going to be that brad with the butterfly that we got in the kit it is from simple stories vintage bliss and it has a butterfly in the middle and in the butterfly wings there's some teal and there's some pink and that's why I took out some of that pink twine so that I could make everything kind of coordinate. And the reason I stamped that little blue cloud with the hearts is because the other clusters all had that blue ribbon. And I am totally out. I've used up every single little inch of that ribbon. So then I decided to stamp that blue cloud so that I could tie everything in and then one more thing that I added and I guess you can't see it I uh, cut a strip of that love you to the stars and back and glued it to the bottom of the page so that it kind of filled up the bottom of the page so it didn't look so empty anymore I added some white studio calico mist and I'm going to show you a few close-ups so there's three ways that you can see some still pictures. You can join us on the Facebook group and I'll have the link in the description or you can go to 
Two Peas in a Bucket or Studio Calico and look up Nicole Jones 911. So that's it. The page is done. Thanks for watching. Bye.